Guys, we got our camper we've been working on. We're finishing up on it. We're going to be doing a paint job two-tone with this Harbor Freight spray gun. Stick around if you want to see how it turns out.
guys, we're back on what we're hoping to be one of the last steps on this project. We're getting ready to spray the two-tone part of this. And if you've kept up with the videos, originally the owner had talked about doing blue at the top, white at the bottom. Kind of flip-flopped on that, so we're leaving the top white. The bottom will be blue, and it's going to follow this, what I'm calling a body line, all the way around. Now, this side is higher, uh, and that's the way she wants it. So we're going to come over here and cut that off clean, and then follow it from here on out. And we're going to leave the door white. Uh, we've kind of come up with a, another solution for the door, so hopefully that'll work out. So uh, we're not super concerned about the door. If we can't get it to work out, we're going to leave it white regardless. Uh, just a heads up too, when you saw us paint the white, that's been a little bit. Weather has been our enemy this last little bit. Uh, rain has just kind of held us off. And if you're like me, I don't have a, a garage or anything to paint this thing in. This is an overhead carport that was used when I got it. It's got some holes in it, so you can't really paint in the rain. Uh, but we used this paint. I know it's got paint all over it, but that's a Krylon farm and equipment enamel. Really good paint. But I did find out one little caveat to it. We were painting towards the edge of the evening, mainly just so that it's cooler and the sun wasn't you know, beaming right down on the paint. I've had that happen before to where if you're painting in the sun, uh, it'll blister it and also it'll make it dry too quick and that's not what you want. Uh, but regardless, it didn't dry as quick as I thought it would. So it sat overnight, got some moisture on it from dew. Uh, and what happened, I don't know if you can pick it up right here on the other side, I know you can, but the paint stayed on but it just made it really dull, so I, it took some of the shine out. So what I've done was come back a couple of days later, resprayed this top part, because like I said, this white down here doesn't really matter. It's going to be covered up. I just wanted a good base. Uh, resprayed this so it's got a good glossy look. I've done that all the way around, so we're good to go. So today, what we're hoping to do is mask this thing off. Like I said, from here up, we've got a tarp that'll cover the majority of the top of this. Hopefully they don't give us any kind of overspray under it. Uh, but we're going to get this taped up, masked off, and we're going to start spraying the blue. Guys, we've been masking here for a couple hours. Actually, we've got it all masked up. I think we're good on it. Uh, I've got the pressure set on the air compressor and the gun. I'm going to go adjust my spray pattern. Just to give you a little peek of what color we're spraying. That's going to be the second color in it. So we're going to go over here and get this thing set up. And I'm going to probably start, I'll call it jamming or edging. We'll go right along the edges to seal that so that there's nothing blowing in and underneath, hopefully. Uh, but we're going to get that started, and you'll see us spraying the whole thing, and hopefully the rain holds off so we don't have any problems.
guys that's going to do it for this video and this will actually wrap up this camper it has been a long process we have actually had this thing since the last part of april 2023 it is now pretty much the end of august 2023 uh, and for the most part we've been full steam ahead you know i, I work a full-time job and so getting time to work on this of the evening or a weekend it's kind of kind of how i had to do this uh, but what do you think about it i think it turned out pretty nice the owner does too where she's happy with it now you can see the two-tone paint job and if you followed us along from the beginning we were actually talking about the owner said they wanted the top part to be the bluish green color and the bottom white well they kind of kind of changed their tune on that went just the opposite we ended up having to put a brand new door we had to build this thing from scratch and i've got a separate video for that uh, but i'm gonna put some of the uh, details in this video as well and so essentially we have touched everything on this camper uh, one of them we'll talk about on the outside pretty much had to redo every single window to an extent uh, the two side windows were okay as far as the glass goes we did take them out in silicone and everything else to kind of you know keep water out of it and previous owner had done some stuff there that was really not ideal we'll put it that way uh, now the front window and the back window uh, were plexiglass but that was not factory i found where it, someone had cut out original glass put in plexiglass and they didn't do a very good job especially in the back they had like three pieces piled on top of one another and didn't do a very very good job so we replaced all that but this is all plexiglass front and the rear the windows work uh, the gutter yeah they could be straighter but we're happy enough with them it it sheds the water and uh, that's another reason you see it's wet right now we just gave it a good wash before the owner comes and gets it tomorrow the back here this is the window i was talking about they had sort of a big piece here and here but then they took two small pieces and sandwiches on top and that was just a, a nightmare as far as leaks go this is one solid piece now uh, we've put the tail lights uh, and the reflectors actually the re reflectors are aftermarket the, uh, the ones that were on here were too far gone to fix uh, just so happened i found these and believe it or not even the bolt holes lined up and they're not the they're not the ones made for this particular uh, camper but they worked out uh, we cleaned up the cerro scotty emblem there cleaned it up the only let down back here i should say this i guess you'd call it a center tail light it is missing a lens here and also there's a piece that's supposed to go in there after doing some research there's a piece that comes down here and looks like a license plate bolts to that hopefully the owner can find one of those and there's also a bumper that did not come on this or something that goes across through there that they're going to try to figure out something on that as well now as far as the inside you've seen most of what we've done there and for the most part it's in an unfinished state the owner's going to do some paint and decorate and that kind of stuff there's going to be some mattresses going in there uh, naturally uh, but she did want some shelves added to it before she picked it up uh, so we'll go ahead and show you what that looks like open this door we just made and as you can look in here you can see she found a refrigerator she wanted we built a shelf around it that's going to let her have a sort of a nightstand uh, you got the upper cabinet uh, it's going to actually serve two purposes the electrical is going to come in there and that's going to be hid inside of there and as you can see there's two lamps one on each side of that and if you'll peep in here we also made kind of a small shelf there she kind of gave me a design to go by and we we kind of finished that up for that uh, but yeah for the most part this thing turned out pretty nice we trimmed up the the uh roof vent because there were some nails sticking down where they weren't the best looking uh, we've got the underneath storage for this bed and she had talked about something different earlier but kind of changed her mind so she's going to stick with these crates and may end up putting almost what you would call runners in there so it kind of just keeps them in line
So guys, close that door and we're closing the door on this particular build. Uh, it's been a long process. It's been a learning process. We've had, we've had fun. We've had frustrations. Now it's pretty much over. I do have a couple touch-ups we got to do on the paint just here and there, so it's not a big deal, but it's as done as I can get it for the most part, at least for this video. So thanks for joining us. Hopefully you enjoyed this little series we had going on. Like, share, subscribe, and we'll see you again on the next one.